are you trying to figure out how to get lower thirds working? Or you just started streaming, or you just upgraded the latest version of OBS, and you're trying to figure out why is it, why is this thing not working? Why am I not able to get lower thirds showing up the way I'm expecting it to always show up like like everybody else does? Why am I not able to have it show my name doing what I wanted to do? Like what is it, what's causing this? This video is going to help you figure out how to do that, and I'm happy to help you. My name is Pruel Bargava, and I'll be walking you through how to sub lower thirds in the latest version of OBS. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. What we're going to do is start off with going ahead and taking a look at our settings in OBS. And the thing we're going to be checking for is what our resolution is, because we'll need this value from when we're setting up the lower thirds plugin later on. So go ahead and check your video tab here, and you'll notice that in my case, I've got 2560 by 1440 for our resolution. The next thing we're going to want to do is go and download the lower thirds plugin. The URL will be in the description, so you can go ahead and download it pretty quickly here. And then just go ahead and click the download button. Once it's done downloading, you can go ahead and extract it. What I've done is I created a directory specifically for plugins, and I've gone and extracted animated lower thirds. And you can go ahead and see that we've got the extracted file in the switch you'll find in the, in the zip file you downloaded. The thing we're also going to want to do is go ahead and open up both the browser source and the control panel HTML files. When you open them up, they'll look something like this, where the browser source will look empty and lower thirds control panel will look like this by default. The next step what we're going to do is go ahead and create ourselves a scene. We'll call this a primary scene with lower thirds. And we're going to go ahead and add in a browser source. And we'll call this lower thirds. Now, the important thing here is you do not want to use local file. It is expecting a URI for the browser source as well as for the control panel. So just make sure you copy and paste that value from the browser that we opened up earlier. And we'll go ahead and just drop that in. And this is where that width that we're looking at our resolution actually comes in handy. And what I'm going to do is also clear out these other values and just say to shut it down and refresh it whenever it becomes active and then say, okay, now we can go ahead and position the lower third towards the lower third. And that will go ahead and set up the browser source. Next, we're going to go set up the docs so that way we can configure this thing to configure it. Go ahead and go to custom browser docs and we're going to call this lower thirds config. And again, we're going to go grab that URI from the browser that we opened. The URL that you have in here and hit apply. And this should load the config window. We're going to go ahead and put in some basic values in here just to get us started. This, these global times dictate how long the lower third will appear on your screen. Right now, we, if you try to run this thing, it actually will not work. So we say go ahead. If I want to go ahead and turn this on, you'll notice right now it's turned red. Now, this just means that it can't display what it's looking for. It requires that the main settings be set. In this case, we're going to just do a default here of three seconds, three seconds, and three seconds. And then this thing should be able to work, but we've got no values in. So this is where we're not actually seeing anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in my name. And you'll notice it's still red. It still doesn't actually complete. The part of the reason for that is that it's expecting a value to be in the bottom section as well. And now what you'll notice here is that if I don't untoggle this, it will continue to do this. And you'll notice you've got a logo there, you've got some options. But if I want this to be turned off, I actually need to unselect this toggle. Now, if I wanted to trigger this with a hotkey, I do need to load a Lua script. So if I go to scripts and I say add a new one, we now should be able to go to the plugins directory that we have and where I installed it, and then it'll say lower thirds. Now, what this should do is actually give us access to hotkeys under the settings. So if I go to File, Settings, and then to Hotkeys, if I type in lower, you now you've got, you will notice that you've got a couple of extra options. For just the case of this purpose, I'm just going to do Control-Alt-Shift-1 for the first one and Control-Alt-Shift-2 for the second one. And to be able to see it come up, I can just go ahead and click the hotkey. And then you'll notice that the toggle did go off and then my info shows up. But again, I'll need to toggle it again to turn it off so it doesn't show up again. So for the second one here, we can say, okay, well, you know, tell me what you think. Comment, like, 
subscribe, and then say, okay, well, I want this one to show up now. If I do control alt shift two, then this will show up as expected. Now, if I wanted to have a logo, I could try choosing an image and I happen to have one that I downloaded for the Creative Commons. So we'll go ahead and just choose the big old thumbs up. And then if I do control alt shift two, I then have this set up. Now that we got OBS working and we have lower thirds working, in the next video, what we're planning to do is be able to show how we can use NDI and show it working latest version of OBS and show you how you can use it as a workaround or figure out how to get it configured properly. If you have any questions, comments, look forward to hearing from you and look forward to seeing you next time.